Police are questioning a 30-year-old man on suspicion of acts of terrorism. He was arrested this morning in Redcliffe in Bristol. A joint investigation with the Metropolitan Police Force is now underway. Our reporter Joan Howe sent this report from the scene. The 30-year-old man, who's not thought to be from the Bristol area, was arrested this morning in one of the buildings behind me. It follows a joint operation with the Metropolitan Police. They were acting on information given to them by an independent source. Now, Avon and Somerset Police have given us a statement this evening. They say our priority is to ensure the safety of the communities in the Bristol area and we will treat all potential threats very seriously. We will not tolerate any kind of behaviour that puts the safety of the community at risk. Joan Howe in Bristol for the West Country tonight. A woman who was claiming benefits for being a single mother was caught after she was seen on a TV programme living with her partner. Kelly Jones, who has since married her husband Stephen, appeared on the series Wife Swap. The couple pleaded guilty to charges relating to claims of almost £10,000 in benefits. Ken Goodwin reports. Last June, Kelly Jones and Stephen, her then partner, appeared on the Channel 4 series Wife Swap. They were shown living together when, in fact, Kelly had been claiming various benefits as a single mother. Kelly is frank about some of her shortcomings. I am lazy. I admit I'm lazy. <laughs> Although bus driver Steve works long shifts, he's expected to do all the housework, and she sleeps in most days till lunchtime. Today they were in front of the cameras again, this time on their way to court. Mrs Jones from Fish Ponds in Bristol pleaded guilty to benefit fraud of almost £10,000. Her husband pleaded guilty to aiding and abetting her. The court heard that Mrs Jones also failed to disclose that her partner had received more than £30,000 from the sale of a house, though he declared it when he was interviewed by benefit fraud investigators. The magistrate told the couple that this was such a serious offence that she considered sending them straight to jail. You committed this offence deliberately, she said, and you were motivated by greed. Mrs Jones was given a suspended prison sentence of three months. Her husband, six weeks, also suspended. They were both ordered to carry out 150 hours of community service and to repay the housing benefits, council tax benefits, as well as costs. I think the verdict today has sent out a clear message that benefit fraud is not going to be tolerated. Um, the magistrates have handed out a uh, a, a stiff and appropriate sentence today. The court had heard how Mrs Jones had been determined to appear in wife swap, even though she knew her benefit fraud risked being exposed. It was, and today it almost cost her her freedom. Ken Goodwin in Bristol for the West Country tonight. A mother and son jailed for life for the murder of a man outside a pub in Bristol have failed to get their sentences cut. Alan Riddock was beaten to death outside the Park House pub in Bedminster in May 2008. Diane Churchley and her son John were both found guilty of his murder. Their appeal was rejected by judges. Concerns are growing for a holiday maker who's gone missing. David Baxter, who lives in the United States, had been staying with relatives in Chippenham. He vanished after dropping off his hire car yesterday. Wiltshire police say the 55-year-old hasn't got his passport or mobile phone with him, and his disappearance is very out of character. A Second World War bomb buried in a building site in Gloucestershire burst into flames after being hit with a spade earlier. Police cordoned off the road near the Royal George pub in Birdlip, whilst bomb disposal experts made sure the area was safe. It was found at lunchtime and workers were quickly evacuated. No one was injured. Park and Ride has been running in Taunton for several years, but Park and Glide is now on the horizon. A community-owned electric boat has been launched on the Bridgewater and Taunton Canal. Soon it'll be taking day trippers out on the River Tone, and it's hoped commuters will eventually be able to park their cars and commute by boat to their offices. The idea is if we can actually get a new route cut up through from Taunton going up towards, uh, through French Weir, and up towards Roughmore, then we can actually share the facility area there with the park and ride from the buses and people can have a choice to cruise into town. Taunton was obviously a very important centre for commerce in the old days. A lot of that was done from the water.
Lovely way to get to work. And Western Supermare may be famous for its donkey rides, but this summer a rather more static version of the animal has invaded the seaside resort. Forty model donkeys have been decorated by artists. They'll be dotted around the town centre and seafront as part of an arts project celebrating 200 years of tourism. The aim is to raise money for charity. So we sourced the donkeys from the Philippines and they came over as just plain white blank canvas and then I got sponsors for them all and found local artists, married them up and here's the result. Now let's take a look at the weather. Here's Bob. ITV West Regional Weather. Sponsored by Braces Bread. Enough said. A warm summer so far, just losing it a bit on the sunshine. Take uh, tomorrow, for instance, cloudy to start with, then we get an improvement. Hardly full-on sunshine, though. Now, any rain lurking in Somerset and Gloucestershire this evening has been dying out, but the remaining cloud over the region may just be thick enough to produce light rain or drizzle. Generally, it's murky with low cloud for these areas with high ground. Mist or sea fog, I think, forming along the south coast there. Muggy as well with lows in the teens. Tomorrow morning, not much better. Overcast and damp with some patchy drizzle. The mist on the Dorset coast stubbornly hanging on. Much brighter, though, in the afternoon. Breaks in the cloud to get the sun through at times. However, the threat of a shower remains and it will feel pretty humid. Very warm on Friday, easily into the mid-twenties with some good sunny spells. More cloud and I think breezy for Saturday, still warm though, and with pressure building Sunday is set to be fine with a much fresher feel. Good night. Sponsored by Braces Bread. Enough said. Thanks, Bob, and that's the way it looks tonight. Up next on ITV1, it's World Cup highlights. We're back tomorrow. Goodbye.